This guide details the standard practice for spark testing a GSE leak location conductive system using the Solmax S100 spark tester to electrically locate defects in exposed geomembrane applications, accordance with ASTM D7240. The S100 spark tester is a high voltage device capable of producing an electric shock if not operated properly. Individuals with a pacemaker, life critical medical devices, and or any medical condition affected by high voltage should not use this equipment. Do not operate the S100 spark tester while it is raining or when there is standing water on the geomembrane. Only one person should operate the Solmax S100 spark tester at a time a non-operating individual should keep a 5-foot radius while it is in operation. Refer to the Spark Test Operational Manual for complete safety information. The S100 Spark Tester includes three main components, the Spark Test Box, Test Probes, and a Grounding Pad. For a detailed list of all parts, please reference the Spark Tester Operation Manual. During equipment setup, ensure that the Spark Test Box is turned off First, connect the grounding cable to the grounding pad with a washer and wing nut. Then, connect the other side of the cable to the spark test box. Make sure the tension relief is clipped on to the side of the spark test box. This will relieve potential stress on the connectors and prolong the life of the spark test apparatus. Next, connect the two connector cables from the test wand to the spark test box and attach the second tension relief clip to the spark test box. Once connected, choose the electrode that you want to use and secure it to the electrode coupler. Ensure that the spark tester has been activated by turning on the spark test box. When powered on, the screen will show the date, time, and battery level. If this does not display, your spark tester is not activated. If it is not activated, contact your Solmax representative for an activation code. Before spark testing, you will need to choose Mode 1 or Mode 2. Do this by pushing the scroll button. When the arrow on the screen points to the mode you want, push the select button to select your mode. Mode 1 is around 20,000 volts and Mode 2 is around 30,000 volts. Before starting a leak survey, the spark tester should be checked by performing a trial test on a 10-foot test pad as highlighted in the spark test guide. The spark tester is now ready to perform a leak location test.